I am going to show you everything that we have done in the past couple of weeks here. All right, all right. All right. And they all fly. Are you cursed? Baloo, Daisy, putting all this filtration in. All right, so today's the day we figure out whether we can go get stuff for tomorrow's video or not. So this needs to be clear in the next 15 minutes, and this needs to stay this color. Yes. Got it. If all it right, starts fellas. looking green, then we have ammonia. If that starts looking pink or red, then we have nitrate. All right, 15 minutes, here we go. What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video here today. Y'all know we do a ton of stuff around this house, and every once in a while we do an update video. I did one like a month or two ago, maybe two months ago. We got a nice overcast day here. Hopefully it doesn't rain, because we're trying to get that concrete pond in the back done, which you'll see in just a second. We always have a lot going on around here, and a lot has gotten done in the past couple of days, weeks, months. So, today's an update video, and along with the update, we actually have Tommy, the saltwater cram guy, coming over to do tests on our water this afternoon. That'll be in this video as well. Stick along, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be an epic one. I am going to show you everything that we have done in the past couple of weeks here and I cannot wait because once my mind updates everything I got to update you on everything so that we're all updated at the same time. Know what I'm saying? What? Probably film like the saltwater tank inside. That's about it. Other than that we have plans for as you know a new flower horn tank. Tommy and I are working on some really cool stuff so stay tuned for all that stuff inside that's more to come. Today is an update on the outside of my house and as you can see from here it looks a bit different than before here's a shot from before here's a shot from now so really just the dirt on the side of the house on this side looks different let me get you off this tripod here I mean I got to show you the gate so if you're new here first of all welcome hi howdy make sure you hit the subscribe button the gate we got looking like the PC logo as you can see DC right there baby we are gonna start on this side of the property and we will pretty much just do a massive circle from this side all the way around even the stuff on the back patio all the way to this side over here so this is where I'm going to have all the cows Cows. I gotta clean up that junk obviously close up the fence over there and close up the fence and add a gate over there Once that's done. This is officially ready as you can see the sod has definitely grown in It's looking all green a couple brown spots obviously, but that's it's brand new sod, So that's normal. This is where we will have baby cows little moors. I mean literally baby cows I FaceTime my buddy Daniel Ford yesterday. He FaceTimed me show me two baby calves that he's trying to get rid of right now And it is just they're so perfect. They're just so perfect Two, all black, and they are the cutest things on planet Earth. Only thing is, I am not ready for them yet. I still got, like I mentioned, the fence to put up right here. I want to let the sod settle a little bit more. A couple things I want to do before I get the cows. So I said if they're still available in a couple weeks, maybe you know a week or two, then I'll get them. If not, there's always more. Those cows will have all of this area. Every bit of this is theirs right here, even behind the pond over there. But I mean, all of this over here is theirs. Every inch of it. They got their drinking pond, and I'm sure they're gonna go swimming in it because it's nice and shallow off this bank here. And of course, the barn that we built the other day. Now, yes, it's not that big red barn that a lot of you were probably expecting, and it's nothing huge, but a cow is a cow. You'll see a lot of cows just sit out in open fields in tornadoes, hurricanes, everything. I didn't even need to build something like this. I just wanted something like this because they have some coverage, they have some shade, they have somewhere that they could feel like, okay, I'm protected here. Although the cows will probably use that massive tree over there just as much as they use this barn right here. But I am going to cover in this back here. It'll all be blocked in. Just the front will have the opening. So that right there is... A quick run through, like I mentioned, it's gonna be nice and quick here of the cow enclosure. Now, as simple as this, we hop right, I mean, straight to the hogs. These little fellas, I mean, they have trimmed every inch of grass. Look at the grass. Trim perfectly. Hi, little oinkers. I'm also gonna be feeding all the animals as we go through because they haven't eaten this morning yet. At the end of this month, we are going to do one final catch-up video because that's when like the concrete pond's gonna be done. The saltwater tank's gonna have fish in it. A lot more will be done by the end of this month. So we're also gonna do an update video similar to this at the end of the month. All right, here we go, buddies. You ready? Yeah, you're standing on the fence. You're ready. That landed half on your head, but it's all right. Your friends will eat it out of your hair. 
I typically do about four scoops for the hogs. Now the hogs, shelter-wise, have this nice shady overhang which they love. They make these little holes that rainwater does collect in and stay in. They have their water bowl, of course, and then, boom, their recycled house. If you're a Roco Faro, you know like everything I'm showing you already. What in the world? It just got so bright out here. That's a recycled house. I mean, I literally built that out of pallets Bruh. I found, recycled wood from an old barn that we built for fun right there, and I made it for completely, completely free. And it came out really good. As a matter of fact, this piece of metal, a lot of you love this. Oh, this piece of metal I found in the dirt over here, like literally in the dirt. And it just like fit perfectly to like cover up the corner here, so I, I, I drilled it in. It's all blocked in, as you can see it's all blocked in. They love that thing. You hear those horses next door? Holy moly. This guy behind me has a bunch of horses and they're like <laughs> all day. All right, let's jump on out of here. I never even used the gates for the enclosures, I just jumped the fence. This uh, is next to the hogs. So we went from the cows to the hogs to now this open enclosure it used to be the tortoises. It got rid of the tortoises. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do here, I'll be honest. I really don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But if needed, if we can't get rid of these pigs right here, I rescued these guys in the neighborhood. Then we will resort to making this another enclosure and put them in there. I literally found those guys on the side of the road in the neighborhood. My landscaper told me, hey, there's pigs roaming. Thought they were mine, so I went looking. They weren't mine, and I couldn't just leave pigs on the road, so I picked them up, brought them home, put them in the duck enclosure, and now my duck enclosure looks like uh, I know the ducks are super loud, but I mean, I'm talking, it's destroyed. This used to all be green grass, plants were right there, plants were over there, and it's all dirt, because pigs eat everything. They also love to make giant holes like that. Gary, did you just tell me to be quiet? Huh? Oh, the attitude you have. Feed you? No, how about that? All right, I'm gonna feed them. And this is why you continue to be disrespectful, because I always give you what you want. Gary merch, coming soon, by the way. If there could be a quote on the Gary merch, one quote on like a speech bubble above him, what should that quote be? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, all right, all right. Wow. And they all fly. You know, you can watch that like 20 times and it'll never get old. And they all fly. Goat food, got the goat food and then pig food. And we are all stocked up because your boy got food yesterday for everything. Yesterday was my day off of Vlogmas. Trust me, when I say day off, I'm not just sitting in my bed. Actually, well, a lot of the time I was because everybody needs a break, but I was out doing stuff. I did a couple things. I got the food for the animals. And then I built this thing that's like heavy weighted and it has two. I'm just trying to feed the animals not in the dirt. But hey, I mean, they are pigs and I, I do my best. <laughs> Let's feed. Oh, 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 golly. Let's feed them. It works. Oh, big old scoop. Dang, that, that turkey said, everybody out of my way, it's time for me to eat. Oh my God, you turkey. Just... There's nothing in it. So now that all the pigs are eating, see they're not even eating out of the mud. Come here, come here, turk. Come here. Oh God, oh, that's a little close. Hey, this that's my, chase me. Chase me, chase me, oh my gosh. Let's feed uh, big old piggies. You got big pig mango over here. Lady May's coming out hot. All right, big pigs are fed. Before I get to the goat feeding, let's continue. What I almost forgot today's video, the tour. We gotta continue uh, updates on the backyard. From the cows to the hogs to the empty enclosure slash thing to now the ducks. This is where I've got all sorts of different species of Pekin ducks, Gary, the mean goose, as you saw prior, and then two pigs that I rescued that should not have definitely been in here, but they are. That is where all these animals are, and uh, it's a beautiful enclosure, at least was a lot more beautiful a couple weeks ago. But yeah, lots of different, we got little, look at the little afro in that one. Lots of different kinds of ducks. I'll be honest with you, I really don't know many of the species. I know that one with the black spots is like a Swedish Pekin duck. Uh, that's a Muscovy, obviously, Kevin. That's Kevin. Kevin, what up, G? We got a couple call ducks down there. Those are ibises, those long-nosed ones. Those aren't even mine. They're just wild. They come when I feed. Oh, where's our mallard? Those are two more call ducks over there. There she is. Oh, you're that little baby girl since she was just a little duckling. She's down there eating off the bottom. That's a mallard right there, beautiful bird. So yeah, just a bunch of different ducks. And I love waterfowl. It's like one of the things I love. They're obnoxiously loud sometimes, especially while filming, but they are super, super cool. Lots of personality. So I definitely don't see myself not getting any more of those in the future. Be ready for some more ducks, that's for sure. Cooler 
ducks and pecans too. Next over from the duck enclosure is what a lot of you are familiar with, the pigs that have been with me the longest, Lulu, Bubba, and their family. That is all these pigs. There's Mama Lulu. There's Bubba the, okay. There's Bubba the dad and the four babies. One, two, three, where's the fourth? Four, over there. These two little ones I rescued, they were way too small. Some guy was selling them, rescued them, bottle fed them all the way up, and now they're out here with these guys. Those are the only pigs that my pigs, and I say my pigs, they're all my pigs, but I always refer to them as my pigs because I've had them the longest. They're literally like, the original. They're the only two baby pigs that have ever gotten along with my pigs. So this is how I remember the babies as, because some people say, how the heck do you remember? Baloo is the first one that came out. It's Bubba and Lulu mixed Baloo. She's the black and white one. Then I go by the smaller female, which is Daisy right here, and the bigger female, which is Pua right here. Then the one that looks just like dad, look at that. That's the only male we had, that's Duke. So Baloo, Daisy, Pua, Duke, Lulu, Bubba, Rosie, Buttercup. There you go. You just get the hang of it here. And a lot of you watching, I met you in person, and y'all know sometimes a lot more than I do about my own animals. It's kind of crazy. If you ever see me in public, I know I own a farm, and I know I have a lot of animals, but I promise, I will promise you that I don't bite. Their enclosure is the biggest enclosure I've got. Uh, yeah, it's, it's big. It goes all the way around there. You can actually see their little footprints, especially from the drone shot. You'll see little, like, paths they've made. After that, inside this enclosure is the goat enclosure. We got five baby goats in here. We got King back there, Boots, Oscar, Emmy. Emmy's so beautiful. And then of course, Mama Goat. We're gonna pour this in. There you go, guys. Everyone feast up. Whoa, geez. And two turkeys that we, we got. We got these two and this guy. They're separated just because I guess they want to be. They could fly and go in wherever they want. This right here though, I'd say at least the enclosure we put most effort into. Uh, the goat enclosure. Both these enclosures have the custom uh, like hurricane proof housings. They're built the same exact way and my house is built. It's literally the same color. Look, my house, their house. So there's one in this enclosure and there's also one in the goat enclosure. are my two big pigs. This is on the corner of the big pig enclosure and the goat enclosure. These guys have a little custom house as well. They love it. They love to just, they sleep like all day. These two just sleep all day together. She actually escaped out of this, which was her enclosure before when the goats were with these guys. Escaped out of here somehow, don't know how. Got into here with Mango. I was afraid to introduce them myself because I didn't want them to fight and they were getting along. So I just left her in here and they've been in here ever since. The male is neutered, the female spayed. So there can't be babies, although those would be very cute babies. I see a lot of comments saying, I think she's pregnant, I think it's not possible. But yeah, they got a little overhang there for shade and then they have their house. And they also have another little house to the side. If they get in a little argument overnight, you know how a lot of times in relationships you get in arguments, you wanna sleep on the couch or something. That's why I got the extra house. It really does look like it's gonna rain. And that's not a good thing. We're never gonna get this thing done if it doesn't stop raining out in this place. This is my big old concrete pond and the only way we could finish this pond is if it stops raining. Because, let me hop on in, we have to epoxy this. As you can see, that is dry right there. That is wet, dry, wet. Cannot look like that. We have to have it completely dry. I've got a fan running on it. I've been sucking water at it the past three days. Every time we are like right minutes away from doing this project, epoxying and painting it for the first round, it freaking drizzles. Like it doesn't rain, it drizzles. And then we gotta wait a couple more days. So it looks like I gotta text Hector. Once we get this done, you'll see videos coming out on getting fish for this, scaping it, filtration getting done for it Saturday. So not tomorrow, but the next day, my birthday. We're gonna be putting all this filtration in. We bought the 20,000. I've shown you guys this already twice. This is gonna be the third time. But I have to show you every video because those of you who watched the last two haven't seen it. That's a massive filter. Real quick, we have, yeah, that's what it looks like. Media here and then the UV filter, which is absolutely huge. This is our little temporary uh, turtle pond that we did last video. A little yellow belly there. Oh, a little snapping. A little snapping turtle there. Say hi, bud. 
One of my favorites here, the painted turtle. Such a pretty turtle. All those guys are in here. They all are in here until they grow, then they go into here. This is dirty right now, the water at least. They are turtles, so it doesn't matter too much. That filter will be running this pond and this. Although the snapping to oh my gosh, he's right there. When I flew the drone over to it, when I was getting all my drone shots, you could see the soft shell. Both snapping turtles, the painteds, and the albinos that are in here, they all just take off, so I'll roll that clip. So yeah, all three of these, it's, I guess it's just the patio ponds. This is where our catfish are, though it's a bit nasty and green right now. All this water is holding our red tails, platinum red tails, gar, Oscars, I think there's Paku in here. All that stuff that will be going into this pond right here. I just been throwing live tilapia in there and a couple pellets and stuff for the Paku and Oscars and they've been eating. I just pray to God, it's been cold a couple of these days and I hope nothing is dead on the bottom of this pond. I wouldn't know. I've been seeing the red tails and stuff come up, especially the platinums I keep my eye on and I've been seeing them. So it looks like we're in good shape. I just can't wait to lower the water and get straight to transferring these fish into there. But if the rain keeps up, who knows how long it'll be until that concrete pond is done. Okay, without further ado, I think we're caught up to everything in the backyard. I mean, we started over there, walked all the way around the 2.88 acres that I own and uh, showed you everything, even including on the patio here. Once that's running though, all these fish will be in there and then this will be gone and I'm gonna put like an outdoor couch here so we could, you know, do like cool videos just chilling out here, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna pick up the camera now that you're all fully updated from everything outside at least. The front pond, by the way, that the koi fish keep getting eaten out of by the blue heron, I'm getting rid of that pond. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it, especially for uh, like, especially just cause the maintaining on it, the water drops a lot, the filtration never works. It's just, you know, let's be honest here, it's a piece of junk and I don't wanna deal with it. So in that case, it's gonna get, Make it sod, we have this back pond now that we're gonna focus on getting fish for. Okay, you're updated. I'm updated on telling you what you're updated on. Now everyone's updated, so I'm gonna see you when Tommy, the aquarium guy, gets here. Lower this. White is the best for camera, so let's bring that up. Tommy! Hey, Paul. What up, my man? All right, so what's the plan today? Today we're gonna test the tank. Yep. And we're gonna see where you are in the cycle. Fingers crossed, maybe you're ready. It would be pretty quick, but I've seen them cycle quicker. All right, so today's the day we figure out whether we can go get stuff for tomorrow's video or not. Well, I'll end up filming something else if we can't. But regardless, we need to do a water test and that is what we're doing today. So, Tommy is here getting this done. Sucking the water up. This is a big moment. This is. is a big, big moment for us. Is anyone else hearts? Just do, 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 do. API, baby. Oh, so right there. How many drops do you put into that? Eight drops of part one and part two. All right. Eight drops of, this is part one? Yep. Bottle numero uno. Give it a stir and then two. Yep. Bottle numero dos. Make sure you Spanish audience out there, eh? Muy poco. What does that mean, a little bit? Very little. I probably even said very little wrong. Eight more of that. You know what's crazy is that's one language I would love to learn. Me too. I would love to learn Spanish. That is the coolest thing ever. I have a lot of friends that are bilingual and it's the coolest thing. It didn't start showing ammonia right away. That's a good sign. <laughs> so yeah, there you go, fellas. So far, at least, the color that we're looking for. Uh, let's just hope it stays that way. I've never done a test on a, on a saltwater tank before. I've done a lot. Some more drippy droppers of that and uh... Alright, now hopefully we don't get a color change when I... Whoop. Missed a little bit. I did. Just put a little extra. We don't have to be too precise with this one. Mm -hmm. Because if there's any nitrite at all, we're not ready. Got it. So you're looking for a color change? Yes. If it stays clear... over the next 15 minutes. So this needs to be clear in the next 15 minutes and this needs to stay this color. Yes. Got it. If All it right, starts fellas. looking green, then we have ammonia. If that starts looking pink or red, then we have nitrate. All right, 15 minutes, here we go. All right, we look like? Zero ammonia, zero nitrate. Boom. Tank's ready. Woo! That's exactly what we're hoping for. Tommy and I are going to go out this afternoon like literally right now after I get this other video up and go get stuff for the saltwater tank. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the like button, make sure you hit that like button, 
We will see you tomorrow getting stuff for this tank. From Tommy and I, we're out, baby. No. Spider web. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, I don't like spiders.